Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mike Levitsky, and today I'm gonna give you a little funky Tom cowbell groove that sounds like this. Today we're going to be working on that cowbell groove with the toms and uh, as you can tell I've been working a little bit on trying to get a better sound for my drums and a better look. So I have two cameras, I have one here and I have one there and hopefully I'll uh, figure out where I should put them. Please let me know in the comments what camera angle would work best for you. I could do like an overhead one or something like this and then also let me know about the audio. Uh, if the voice sounds good and the drums are sounding good. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, now that I have this set up going, uh, I'll have plenty of videos coming out uh, in this year. So without further ado, let's get into this tom groove. There's a lot going on. It uses uh, your toms. You're going to need a cowbell. You can use uh, the bell of your cymbal. If you don't have a cowbell, you can play it off that. But uh, I like to play it off this cowbell. And uh, I have this salsa bell here. It's an LP. Uh, I'm not sponsored or endorsed by them or anything like that. I just letting you know what it is. That's an LP salsa bell. It's got some movement between the hi-hat and the snare drum. So you're moving there. You're also moving around your toms, a little bit of ghost notes. So you're working on a lot of stuff here. I originally got this idea from Rick Latham in his book, Advanced Funk Studies. Uh, I'll post a link down in the description uh, to that book if you want to pick it up. This whole groove is 16 notes. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, throughout the whole groove. So beat number one is one on the floor tom, E and on the kick drum, and then uh on the snare drum. And you're gonna play both of those strokes with your right hand. And you want a nice accented stroke on the snare drum. So one E and uh. All right, beat number two, you're gonna play hi-hat with the left hand. Then you're gonna play cowbell with the right hand. And then you're gonna either play the hi-hat with the left hand or the snare drum. It's kind of your choice where you wanna put that ghost note. So you could play it like this. Or you could play it like this. So again, I'll play the difference. And option. So when you come back down, you really want to make that a ghost note if you're going to use the snare drum. You don't want to play it like this. Yeah, there you go. That's the wrong way. Okay, you could play it like that, but I, I don't recommend it. It kind of breaks up the, the, the flow of the groove. So beat two is just uh, hi-hat cowbell snare drum ghost cowbell so you're just playing left right left right so this might be a little bit strange for you to play 16th notes leading with the left hand so that's something that you can work on you can practice kind of playing from the floor tom around the kit just to get used to leading with the left hand because you play that initial uh, right kick, kick right, it's going to start that second beat with the left hand. So beat two, one E and a, or one E and a. Let's put beats one and two together. One E and a, two E and a. One E and a, one E and a, two E and a. Beat three, you're going to have cowbell, kick, kick, and then uh, another cowbell. So three E and a. So here's beats one, two, and three. One E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a. Uh. So beat four, beat four is left hand snare, kick, right hand tom, left hand ghost note. All right, so let's put all four beats together and take a listen to that nice and slow. And I'll count it for you. One E and a, uh, two E and a uh, three E and a uh, four E and a uh, one. Let's do it again. One E and a uh, two E and a uh, three E and a uh, four E and a uh, one. The second phrase is exactly the same. We just change beat four. So beat four is just gonna go snare, kick, bell of the cymbal. And I just did that for a, a variation. You could do a crash on the and or you could play uh, a little fill like I did in the beginning where you're playing floor, snare, kick, floor, snare, kick, kind of doing something like that. 
So let me play it slow for you a few times, and then uh, we'll wrap it up and be done. And I'll play some variations. So here we go, slow a few times. Three, E, and uh, four, E, and... Here it is at a medium tempo. And then a little bit faster with some variations. Here we go. All right, guys, there's a quick lesson for you. Mostly this is just so I can figure out the sounds of my drum set and how all this is working and then how I'm going to take these two camera angles and put them into one and make a video out of it. There's still a lot I have to learn about that. So please, please, please leave me a comment down below. Like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, let me know how I can make this better because I want to continue to get better and better and better. Once I figure out all the technical stuff, uh, then I'll start some kind of more regular lessons uh, but for probably the next few, they're just going to be random fills or grooves or something like that. I hope this one helped you out. I hope you had a lot of fun with it. Uh, like always in all my videos, I'm going to play you out with some uh, some drumming.